Katie, can you give us some warm weather, please? <laughs> I'll just take that. I mean, eventually we're going to track on seasonably warm weather. Is it technically warm? Yes. Will it probably uh, feel warm? It's no. not <laughs> golfing warm, though. It'll, it'll be warm for the first week of December. Okay. Kind of to put that in maybe <laughs> the frame of mind. <laughs> the chilly start this morning, not nearly as cold as yesterday. And hey, we're not in the teens like Minneapolis, so we've got that going for us. Tracking those mid 40s down into the southeast from Birmingham over to Nashville and Charlotte. We're just kind of somewhere in between. Luckily, we're closer to what maybe Nashville is feeling compared to Minneapolis <laughs> down into the teens. Very large system off to our west, bringing a couple inches of snow to areas in Denver, Salt Lake City, that area. All those purple and pink boxes you're seeing, those are winter storm warnings, watches, advisories, because it's just bringing them all of that snow. Same system is going to continue to travel. It's actually going to travel just north of us. Is it going to bring us six inches of snow? No, but it is going to bring the chance for some precipitation. Keyword there, precipitation, because maybe not everyone's going to see rain out of that. As some of that cooler air can sink down further south faster, we could see the first wintry mix for some of us of the season, for some of us more so north of Route 13. Let's take a live look in Benton this morning because it is so cute and festive. They've got their tree lights up. They've got some snowflake lights. Really pretty out in Benton this morning. Seeing traffic out there, nothing should really slow you down. Weather-wise, we have temperatures somewhere in the mid-30s for southern Illinois. Trending a bit warmer down into Poplar Bluff in the Boot Hill. Still holding on to the 40s and the Murray not far behind at 39. Clouds are going to stay with us off and on throughout today. You kind of build in a bit more around the 6 p.m. hour. Wind chills are staying steady below those temperatures. So at 3 p.m., tracking 47 for a high in southern Illinois. But then that wind chill at 41, it's thanks to the breeze out of the north-northeast. Biggest change you'll feel today compared to yesterday. It's much cooler and it's going to feel much cooler thanks to that breeze out of the northeast. It's a cool breeze that's going to cut right through you. Chance for a wintry mix as we head into this weekend, specifically Sunday. And then as we go into next week, those below average temperatures are going to be sticking around for us. Clouds kind of hanging around early this morning. Temperatures somewhere in the mid 30s. As we go into mid morning, you can really see those winds picking up, kind of pushes some of those clouds out of there, tracking some sunshine around lunchtime. Clouds re return at least by the afternoon and evening. And then we've got temperatures, at least those highs we saw in the upper 40s. Some of us hitting 50s in the Paducah and Sykeston area. As we head into the overnight hours, we continue to fall. If you're waking up early tomorrow morning, maybe some more shopping, maybe grabbing a tree. Temperatures around freezing for almost everyone, so just make sure you bundle up. Saturday shouldn't be too bad. We really see that cool off on Sunday and Monday. We dip back down to the low 40s, but we have a steady increase there, so that's the warm-up I'm pretty much tracking. So uh, there you go, Dave. We got 50 degrees coming our way. Storm track three apps are really going to be nice to have, especially with Sunday. And even more so, again, if you're north of Route 13, because we're really going to have to keep an eye on that system because we could see a wintry mix, some of the first snowflakes of the season. But some good news out of that is it should be low impact, even if we do end up seeing a few snowflakes, a little bit of sleet kind of mixed in with that rain. Black Friday and shopping local on Saturday should be good to go. We're just going to be chilly somewhere in the mid 40s, tracking low 40s as we head into the end of the weekend and to start the next work week. Next week, not really seeing a lot of rain chances, few clouds, and then the warm up coming in our 10 day forecast. We're going to struggle to get into the 40s on next week. I know. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> well, let's not look ahead too far, but we are going to take a look at the stories working on for the six. Plus, we're going to have those Friday morning sports for you when we return. Stay with us.